Okay. Uh, I am a big fan of Garbage Pail Kids. Always have been. Grew up with them in the 80s. Um, they still put them out. You may not know, but they do. This is the first series for this year, 2019. I think they usually do two a year now. Um, it's called We Hate the 90s. They already did a We Hate the 80s. I think that was last year. Um, that's what they do now is themed sets around uh, parodying some specific thing. In this case, it's a whole decade of stuff. Um, movies, pop culture. Uh, so I thought I'd open these up and we'd see what we got. Okay, here's our first pack of cards. Now, the way they do these series now is they have a bunch of sort of subsets inside the series instead of a number and a letter on them like they did originally. So this is from the 90s politics and news subset. Uh, they still have the uh, A and B of each card. So there's a so this there's this is a 4A. There'll be a 4B that has the same art but a different name. Uh, obviously this is meant to be Bill Clinton. Blasting Bill. Let's see what we have here. Monty in my pocket. 90s toy stickers. I guess this is from Monster in My Pocket? Huh. There's 18 of these. Wow. Okay. Benny Baby. Like a beanie baby, I see. Of course, he's exploding. Farting. Pooping. Lovely. We'll set those. Let's try to stack these up separately. MTV. Okay. Whoops. 90s cartoons and comics. I have to say, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Huh. Okay. <clears throat> Cleaved Steve. Uh, uh huh. I was a big fan of the old original series Garbage Pail Kids. I'm not as big a fan as, of these. I don't feel like the art or the imagination behind them is quite as quite as good. Buzzed Bill. This is Bill and Ted. I kind of like this one. I like Bill and Ted. 90s films. Try to put these in. Organize them a little bit. All right, what do we got now? Arachnophobic Rick. Oh, from, like, Arachnophobia, I guess? I remember that movie. Huh. Okay. Doug Rat. The names aren't always that clever either anymore. 90s cartoons and comics sticker. Like, what is Doug Rat? That's not even funny. Anyway. <laughs> uh, Joyrider. Uh, that's that's kind of clever. These politics in the news. We got the Mars rover. Doug Life. Like Thug Life, I guess. Music and celebrities. Hmm. Alright. Tommy Gachi. Oh boy. It's a Tamagotchi, I see. And you'll see some of them have this uh, colored border around the edge. That's a. Uh, that's just a way of creating more collectability, so there's a variation to the cards. So, even though this is 17A, there's also a 17A without this green border. So you have to get both if you want the full collection. That's the idea. These toys. The Baby Splitters Club. Now oh, this is interesting. What is this? Oh, okay. Wacky Pale Sticker. 20 of 20. So there's 20, like of these special wacky package style cards mixed in with the uh, with the packs sometimes it looks like wacky packages was another series of collectible cards that came up around the same time as garbage pail kids although actually they're older than garbage pail kids this is pretty cool this this is also a uh, original first series character double heather that they've they've put onto this they like to do that cuz they know uh <laughs> they know we're here for the um for the old school stuff. So that one's pretty cool. 
This looks like another of the same type of thing. Bad Zuka cement gum. Lose your teeth. Asphalt flavored. Yeah, this is another Wacky Pale sticker. That's pretty cool. Baby Dino, not the mama. I remember that show. The dinosaur show. A lot of 90s stuff going on here. Obviously. Let's see, where do I put this guy? Uh, I think he goes over there. Jeff Goldblum. What? As in Jeff Goldblum from Jurassic Park. Yeah, 90s films. You'll see this one has a purple border instead of the green border. I'm not sure how many cards have the borders. I don't know if they if there's a variation of every single card with a border. I certainly would hope not. Um, I would have to look that up. Let's put this guy with the other films. Okay. Matt Tats. Interesting. 90s fads. And that's one we haven't even seen yet. Okay. Ginger, ginger. Like I was saying, the name's not really that clever. This is the Spice Girls, it looks like. 90s music and celebrities. Okay. Stuck Chuck. Is this another fad or a toy? It's a toy. Okay. It's pretty funny. Hyrule. Oh, now I like this one because I'm a huge Legend of Zelda fan. This is obviously a Legend of Zelda reference. Video games. I think that's the first one of those we have too. Oh wow. We got a we got a duplicate in the same pack. I don't think that even happened. Although technically it's not a duplicate because as you'll see this is. The other one had the purple border, and this one just does not. It just has the white, plain border. All right. Mary Moose. Okay, this is a reference to that movie that I don't particularly care for. Uh, we'll put that over here with the other movies. Excuse my dog in the background. All right. Channel Charles. Oh, this is going to be politics and news, I guess. Yeah. The Channel. Put that over the politics and news guys. Here they are. Okay. No rain. Oh, okay. The Blind Melon video. I gotcha. Music and celebrities. And what do we got here? Sneak Kerwin. Oh, and his hair is completely covering the Garbage Pail Kids logo. That's, that's interesting. We don't usually do that. 90s fashion, okay. I don't know if we had a 90s fashion before either. All right, let's open the next pack now. Okay, well, I messed up and I thought I was filming and I wasn't. So uh, now I'm back, uh, show you some of these um, that you might've missed. Stan Quayle. There's uh, Vanilla Ice, Pokemon, Street Fighter. Some of these, uh, I like these. These old school guys, the wacky pails. These Vlad the Impaler, trash bags. They're pretty fun. Um, I don't know if you saw this guy. Extremely. Here's Livid Lebowski, the green border. From the Big Lebowski, I guess. And for some reason, he has the uh, little boy peeing in his sunglasses. I'm not really sure what that's about. 90s films, of course. Let's see, where are the films? Here they are. Judged Mike, as in Mike Judge, as in Beavis and Butthead. 90s cartoons and comics. Fresh Phil. Fresh Prince of Bel Air, 90s TV. Let's see, over here with Alien Autopsy. Oh, <laughs> I think we'll all remember Barney, the purple dino. Here he is. Well, I guess this is purple Dino. I guess that's the idea. 90s TV. Wiped out Will. 
This is another reference to a um, original series character exploding like that. I remember there being a guy like that. This is also a reference to Independence Day, it looks like, the movie. Put that over here with the movies. <laughs> Matt Ricks, as in Matrix. Uh, this has got, like, uh, and he says, just say no on his shirt, and he's refusing the pills. Red pill and blue pill from the Matrix. It's a strange, like, multiple reference going on here. I don't know. 90s films. There we go. Offensive Orlando. He, that is offensive. It says up yours. 90s fads. Okay. Was that a fad? That we had shirts that said up yours? I don't remember that. Uh, let's see. Where are the fads? I think this one. Alright. Ah, Royal with Lewis. Royale with Cheese. Pulp Fiction. It's kind of a weird name, but okay. Put him with the other films. Scud Buster. Baghdad or Bust. Ah, uh, this is uh, the Desert Storm reference here. It's uh, a little disturbing, frankly. There we go. And we got another one of this one. Catch him, Al. Another Pokemon. There we go. So, yeah, there you go. We hate the 90s. Koosh balls and Tamagotchis. Beanie Babies. Cartoons, comic books. Some of these are kind of fun. Some of them aren't great. I don't know if I caught on on video th this particular one. I really thought stood out as a particularly poor piece of art <laughs> when the original series had such great illustrations. Um, I mean, you know, always disgusting, but at least you know artistically done. <laughs> Um, this one's kind of fun, the Mars rover. And we've got a lot of fun references. I really like this one, with Buffy, and the original series character there. So, some fun stuff, some pretty dumb stuff, as usual, with the Garbage Pail Kids. Um... I don't know that I would collect the rest of these. Um, I mean, I love collecting Garbage Pail Kids, but it's it's kind of disappointing when you open up a pack and find stuff that's just really, really dumb that you feel like, why do I even want to own this? <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I'd have to think about it. I don't think that I'd want to spend all the money necessary to collect all these because they really do make a... There's so many variations and so many different, like, sub-series that it's really difficult to actually get them all. Um, but, you know, it's still kind of fun to just buy a pack and pop it open and see what you get. Um, anyway, there you go. Garbage Pack Kids. <laughs>